Hey guys, welcome to the homestead. So today we're going to talk about these new four lithium iron batteries and there's four of them down there. I have my, ch my charger covering up two of them there, but there's four of them linked together in a 24 volt configuration and these have replaced all eight of my AGM deep cell deep cycle batteries. I used to have eight AGM batteries in here for solar power. Now I have actually doubled my power, more than doubled my power, by ha having only four lithium iron batteries. It's lithium iron as opposed to lithium ion. Now, a lot of this can sound confusing. I was very confused when this guy, his name is Roy, sat me down and tried to explain and kind of set my heart at ease when it came to this technology and the differences between lithium ion and lithium iron. Lithium iron is a game changer. So what we're going to do now is have a discussion with Roy. He is an electrician here in my area and he is available for hire. So I'll give you information on how to contact him in the, in the description below. But let's have a discussion with him. And um, I know it's going to be a little bit lengthy of a discussion. But if you pay attention, I know that you're going to learn a lot. And it's all about learning. It's all about learning, guys. If you want to be a homesteader, you're going to have to learn some things. And so let's learn today about lithium iron. Hey guys, welcome to the homestead. So today I'm joined by Roy Wheeler with MI Electric. Electric. And he is, you can see here are guineas out in the background. That's just part of the ambiance of the homestead. Uh, we are doing a major upgrade on the solar system today for our home and also Tim's home because we took all of the bank's uh, batteries that I had for my place and then combined it with his. And this has been something that's kind of been brewing for like a year, maybe more. It, it's been a minute. It's, it's been a while. So th the reason is because he came to me and was like, oh, talking about lithium batteries. And I'm like, well, I've heard horror stories about lithium batteries and <laughs> they're like burning people's houses down. And he said, no, 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 those are lithium ion. They're kind of unstable. And so I started doing some more research and realized that the lithium iron batteries are much more stable. Um, and he has convinced me that these are a good thing. And so I, I did research and I'm like, yeah, okay, when can we do this? I want to get this upgrade. I want to experience lithium iron batteries. So can you maybe tell the audience, uh, speak as loud as you possibly can, because I know the guineas are over there going crazy. Um, tell us what is the difference between lithium iron and lithium ion and maybe some of the benefits. So with every battery, you have different voltages for the, every different chemistry. And there, there's a whole plethora of different ones. But lithium ion has a particular voltage range. It really doesn't lend itself to be used with any kind of off-grid, on -grid, any system, really. Okay. The, the ranges that they want to operate at is very different than the classic lead acid. Whereas lithium iron, lithium iron phosphate, lithium iron, mimics the 12-volt battery nearly perfectly. Mm -hmm. um, the difference is... Basically, the anode, cathode, uh, the, the electrolyte, it's just a different chemistry. So mm -hmm. with every different chemistry, you end up with a different voltage. Like the, the AA batteries, those are alkaline batteries, mm -hmm. 1.5 volts per cell. Mm -hmm. Whereas uh, people are familiar with the rechargeable AA's or you know, AAA's, those are nickel metal hydrides. Those are 1.25 volts per mm -hmm. cell. And it's just the chemistry that leads to that voltage. Well, it seems like a lot of the... Uh car manufacturers the ev vehicles the people who are actually doing battery relying a lot on battery power they're moving over to lithium irons from what i've read yep right it seems to be yeah they're safer so the lithium ion um those go back to the kind of the original lithium batteries where you heard horror stories of people's laptops bursting into flames on yes on airport yes <laughs> in the airports and things like this um <laughs> it's much more then they also have a lithium polymer which is a different okay. kind of battery, but the lithium iron is a more stable chemistry and it tends not to do that. Of course, with any battery, you know, you throw it into a fire, it's, they're volatile chemicals. Yeah. So you don't do that, but they are much more stable. So um, they're starting to move over because in a vehicle application, you have car wrecks. Yeah, yeah. And people don't really, I don't think they really understand that when you're driving around with a full tank of gas, you're basically driving around with a case full of dynamite in your car. But because it's liquid, it's it's stable. Yeah. Right? Um, and these batteries are similar. Yeah, yeah. it's a lot of power, mm -hmm. but they can make them stable. They can make them safe. They can make them as impact resistant as they can. And it's, it's going to be a safer alternative. So this is a big upgrade for us then. Based on what we have with the AGM batteries 
that we've we've taken out. This is a big upgrade. This is so you had eight lead acid, 125 amp hour batteries, mm -hmm. and as we've talked about, you only have 50 percent of that usable power. Right. Because if you if you discharge lead acid too far, it ruins them. Right. Um, so for what we did, we replaced eight batteries with four batteries of less weight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they weigh about 13 pounds less each. Each. And you end up with twice the nameplate value, which is twice again the usable power. Right. So it's really like increasing your battery bank four times over. That's amazing to me. And it's half the size. That's amazing to me. It's... When I went from lead acid, I've been using lead acid batteries since 2006, 2008. Even when my house was grid connected, I had a solar array batteries inverter, mm -hmm. and I had a relay that would disconnect me from the grid. Mm -hmm. And when the batteries got low, it'd reconnect me, and they'd charge up, and then I'd kick off. But so long as the solar kept up with it, I was off grid. Mm -hmm. I was off grid on grid. And I've been fighting lead acid battery problems and trying to get them to do what the nameplate says i mean the math says yeah this is how many amp hours this is how many it never seemed to work it never seemed to work yeah yeah and then uh, when i moved into the the fifth wheel the trailer i'm in right now i put 16 lead batteries in that thing wow. 1200 pounds of batteries wow. basically what we put in tim's system uh-huh yeah and it still never really worked like yeah. it, like the math said it should yeah and when I first switched over to lithium, I switched to lithium ion. Mm -hmm. And you can get lithium ion to mimic 24 volt systems and 48 volt systems, kind of. Yeah. Not quite a perfect match. But when I switched over, it was like, I now have batteries. Yeah. It was like not having batteries and having power during the day when the sun was out, and then having batteries. It was radically different. It was amazingly different. I want to switch gears here and talk about, you know, the whole, you mentioned while we were putting these installs in, uh, the whole left and right type thing where people are you know they they you know we're pretty conservative right leaning mm -hmm. you know folks but you 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 operate in a business where it tends to be cheerleaded by people on the left yep. and so the people don't kind of know what box to put you in yeah and people on the right will put me in the left box yeah and people on the left will put me in the right box yeah. and it and i'm I'm neither. Yeah. You know, I I'm I just sit, I look at things and I evaluate them with my own intellect and with my own cognitive reasoning, you know. Yeah. Critical thinking skills 101. Yeah. And if it makes sense, it makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, it doesn't make sense. And when it comes to solar, I know the right tends to poo-poo the idea of solar. Mm -hmm. And the left is out there, renewable energy is green. Well, I personally, I'm not out there to save the environment. Mm -hmm. I'm not out to hurt it. Yeah, I'm like green without the politics. Yeah, you know, to to me, it's all about it saves me money, and 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 making me more reliant. I mean, it's kind of reliance, not probably the right word, but a little more self-sufficient than you know, if the power gets turned off, I'm I'm dead in the water. Right, right, yeah. You know, I want something that is serviceable by me, that has a longevity, has a long life, and. I love solar because where else were, are you going to get a product where the manufacturer says, we warranty this for 25 years at 80% of what it can do? Mm -hmm. Name, Give me a car that well, does yeah, that. The, no, yeah, your car example. You said find a truck that in 25 years is going to be 80% of what you bought. Yeah. It's not going to happen. It. It's not going to happen. It, it's And... and not that you parked it in the garage and never used it. No. Right. That you used it every, every day. Every day. For all that it's worth. Uh, you mentioned also, too, about the people who will spend, you know, 40000 50000 60000 on a pickup truck, but they have a hard time. They blink at, you know, spending $10,000 on a really good system or $5,000, $6,000 on a really good system. That's going to last them, you know, the better part of their life. And I told them, I said, it's because people can see the truck. Yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. People get to see you driving down the road in the truck. Solar's, solar's not cool. I mean, yeah, it's it's yeah. a, a lot of what I do as an electrician is behind a wall. Nine, Ninety percent of what I do is behind a wall. You know, I get people who come along. Hey, can you put an outlet right there? And I've been tempted in the past just to get it out in a box, cut it, and put it in, mm -hmm. and then say, "There you go." Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, "Well, no, it doesn't work." Oh, you want wires with that? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because most of it you never see, and nobody nobody cares about it. But it's the one thing that everybody's life. I mean, we can't survive without it. 
this transitions me into the part where I wanted to talk about, uh, and I, I was going to bring it up to you earlier, was the whole... Why isn't solar power in Walmart? Why can't you just go down to the local Walmart and buy solar for your home? I mean, you can almost buy anything almost. that you want at Walmart or Sam's Club or some of these other big box stores. You can almost buy any, but you'll never see solar setups. Just plug and play. You can pick them off the shelf and put them and bring them home and then, you know, connect to the grid or be off grid, whatever. And you kind of touched on this earlier and I didn't want to go down that road until I had you here, but I think, and you let me know what you think, is because most people just don't have the patience, they don't have the desire to learn, they don't have the, the, the ability to go out and spend the time to learn the technology and have some trial and error and put it together themselves. They want everything today, easy, plug and play. What yeah. do you think? Am I right on that or am I off base? I, I, I think you're absolutely right because... You'll never find it in Walmart or the big box stores because of that reason, maybe, right? It, you'll you'll find small si systems, you know... The, Harbor the, Freight. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, and, you know, the, what is it? Uh, Jackery has things like that. You'll, you'll find small things, but nothing for a home system because, one, liability, two, regulation. You're messing with an industry that, that's a multi-trillion dollar industry. Mm -hmm. If you could just simply go into Walmart and buy something that takes your house and makes you self-sufficient, mm -hmm. there's a lot of regulation that goes along with that. And... There's a lot of authorities having jurisdiction, you know, being, right. being in construction and, and that you have to contend with a lot of different entities claiming authority. Right. And I, I think that's that's one of them. The other is you have to educate the consumer. Right. And it's just it, they don't want to be. They, they, they just... Plug, it, okay. Plug it and play. I want, I want it to be able to boot up and follow a Windows screen that lets me... Do everything I need to do and yes, hit one for and, English. And, and, yeah, they they they, they <laughs> want the the hard like you know, being in computers for a long time. It used to be you'd put a piece of hardware in and then you had to go through and figure out how to do all the the drivers, the settings of this and that mm -hmm. and everything else. They they plug it in and it just works. They just yeah. want it to just work. And yeah, I get that. Life is complicated enough without adding more to it. But there is a certain amount of energy, effort, and and education that you really need to put yourself through before you're ready to use it because it get like i said before right you are your first tech support right yeah i love that you're your first you are your first line of tech support yep absolutely it's the way it should be i i just i want to bring that up because you know, as i've gone through this this process of being here i don't know whatever i've been here now and i've learned everything i've learned there's been trial and error, there's been failures and successes, but all the, the whole process allows me to learn, you know, how to build this myself, how to do it myself, how to maintain it, upkeep it myself. And if you would just take the time to learn some of these things, you could do this yourself. I can't tell you the tens of thousands of dollars. We did a video a couple years ago on all the money we saved by not, I've never had an electric bill in the last however many years, I've, since 2012. I haven't had an electric bill since 2012. That's 10 years. That's amazing. If you could go 10 years without an electric bill, and the price is only going to go up, folks. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Historically, 7% per year this, this year. Uh -huh. No, um, I mean, yeah, there's been expenses on buying, you know, some of the stuff we've paid you for, you know, the yeah. batteries and some of the uh, solar panels and stuff like that. But it's been minimal compared to what I would have paid an electric company for my power. Hmm. No, no comparison. No comparison. Well, and, and today, the last few years, there's really been... A technological shift mm -hmm. when these lithium iron phosphate batteries have come down to the right price points it, it really has transitioned it from kind of a, a not a labor intensive but you, you you had to pay attention to your system you had to get sure. you know you you used AGM batteries so they were a lot less maintenance prone than, than mm -hmm. the straight lead acid um, and a lot of people didn't want to have to deal with watering their batteries and, right. and things like that um, but in, in the lifespan on the lead acid, you know, three to five years, mm -hmm. uh, five years if you're really gentle with them. Right. And now that these lithium iron phosphate batteries are at the prices that they are, if you can get them for as long as you can get them. <laughs> Supply chains. Yeah, there is there is that. Um, their lifespan is, is going to be 10 to 15 years. Yeah. I mean, it, it's radically different. The, the price point of actual usable wattage, right. usable amperage, a usable amperage has finally come to the point where it's within people's grasp. I mean, right. it, it is it is an interesting time to be alive to see that happen. Guys, 
spend the time, go out and learn the stuff. If you're interested in solar, you can put together your own solar system. It's going to take some learning, um, but there's plenty of resources out there on YouTube land and other places too, where you can watch videos, uh, read blogs, join forums, ask questions. So I highly recommend doing that. That's what I did. Um, I'm in Northwest Arkansas. You're in Northwest Arkansas and the Ozarks. Um, you are an electrician. You are for hire. Yep. Okay. Um, he's really busy. But if, if you can get him, <laughs> uh, if, you're in, if you're in the Ozarks, uh, Northwest Arkansas Ozarks, uh, we'll leave a link for contact uh, info down below in the description and email address. You want to get a hold of him. And uh, if you're in the area, you might want to be able to reach out to him and, and ask him questions or pick his brain on maybe something, an idea you have on how you could get your homestead up to where you want it to be. So, um, and Like I said, I, I do a wide array of services mm -hmm. you know there's a lot of people who want to build it themselves and they mm -hmm. just want me to go through and take a look at it and say hey am i going the right direction what should right. i do they, they, they want to borrow my experience mm -hmm. but they'll do the labor that's fine right I, I, I don't mind doing that at all um so part of it's education right part of it is installation part of it is hey i just want to turn the key system if if that's what you want i do those but i still kind of force feed teach you yeah <laughs> yeah because you need to be taught you, you do. You, you Again, you need to be your first line. I can't tell you how many times somebody calls me up and says, hey, half the power in my house went out. Did you turn the breaker back on? Yes, I did. Are you sure? Did you turn it all the way off and all the way back on? And I, I, I can't tell you how many times I asked this <laughs> question. I, I did all that. I, it's just, it's not working. I need you to come out. Okay. I go out, literally walk over to the I did that. I hundred percent of the time. It's uh, every single time. I did that. Uh, <laughs> I, I guess my finger is different than yours, yeah. but it, it's not. It, it's it's magic fingers. Yeah, you know, it, it's 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 not nothing. It's nothing to be afraid of. Um, solar is not technical. It's 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 it has technical aspects of it, but it's not terribly complicated. That a that a normal person can't learn it in a couple of days if they if they have the attitude to. What all boils down to, you said, positive, negative, and ground. It's not, <laughs> and, and, and your system is a great system for how simple it can be. Panels, charge controller, batteries, inverter, and now with the all-in-one systems, it's panels, all-in-one inverter, mm -hmm. batteries, that's it. Yeah, you know? and we're thinking about maybe upgrading that, so stay tuned. We'll, we'll bring you up to speed if, that, if that's the case. So thanks for coming out. I really Thank appreciate you, it. Yeah, absolutely. Again, his contact info will be in linked in the description below. So check that out if you have time and also be sure to check out our merchandise, teespring.com, our t-shirt, stupid should hurt. I'm not wearing it today, but it's out there. You can find it. Uh, links in the description below. If we had a lot more hurt in this world, to be a lot less stupid. Stupid should hurt more. Stupid should hurt more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you next time in the homestead. Bye. Hey guys, I'm happy to introduce an American homestead sponsor, Zervita Zeal. Now, first off, I only accept sponsors from products that I use and believe in. My family uses Zeal mainly because we want to ensure a healthy immune system. You see, it's made up of only whole food concentrates and includes no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. The included sweetener is all natural from fruit and the stevia leaf. It's gluten-free, it's vegan, and it's kosher. In 2018, my youngest son was involved in a bike accident that resulted in the surgical removal of his spleen, and that's an important part of his immune system. And because we live on a farm, you can guess that having a healthy immune system for our family is very important. Some of the included ingredients are beetroot, chicory root, turmeric, moringa, blueberries, cranberry, goji berry, milk thistle, ginseng, alfalfa, broccoli, and so much more. It's these natural ingredients that can easily be made into a powerful and tasty drink that my family can make and feel good about. So sign up and give it a try today. Every purchase you make goes to help the homestead so that we can continue to make great homesteading videos for you. Link is in the description below. Go ahead, give it a try. Hey guys, did you know you can become a patron of an American homestead? They get access to private videos and we send them gifts from the homestead that we make here on the homestead. And we also enter our patrons into special giveaways that are only available to them. And before you go, please check out these other great videos. Go ahead, click. Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs>